So here today we have another k and filter. It's used, pretty weighty. And I believe I reviewed, let's see, the white one. It's, uh, the white one's kind of your starter k and I believe, I think. It didn't have this uh, nice, uh, you can put a socket on that or a wrench to get that off of your vehicle easier. That one didn't have this. This one's, uh, I think, more of the performance-oriented one. But we'll take her apart and see how well this one is put together. I'm pretty sure it's put together pretty nice. It looks nice. It's weighty. Wow, is it weighty? These things have a very thick case on them. Now let's get out this... Uh, that is the seal. Fits in there beautifully. There it is. Now, I'll get my cutting machine here. Well, first, maybe I'll put my gloves on. Gloves are a good thing to use. Yes, they are. Since that is a used filter, I don't want to get my hands dirty. And, let us see. Let's put her in the old cutter. We've got a long way to go here. But uh, last time I know that these, what one was it? It was white, it was a while ago, a couple of months ago. And yeah, white, and it had a very thick case on it. I should have rewatched that before I did this one, but um, I'm just gonna, I, I just don't rewatch them. I just take them as they come and do a review on them. And, uh, that's pretty well the way I do it. Now let's get this thing spinning. This one looks like it's been on a vehicle a while. It's got it's got rust on it. So this one has oh, and it's a KN three o three. I never looked to see what that fits. So if somebody wants to figure that out, you go right ahead and tell me in the comments if you want. This, this is a thick filter. I can already tell it's thick. Wow. This one's going to take a while to get through. So. But I do have that nice cutting wheel on here now. So we'll see how long it takes to get through here. Probably. Yeah, these things are nice and strong. Yeah, it's going to take a while, so I'm going to pause it and come back when I'm through. Well, we have started to cut through on this one. And there's oil everywhere. Good. Nice oil slick on this one. See, the oil doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty, pretty good. So somebody, well, either had a big leak and kept on handing to add good oil. Or, well, let's get her out of here. Oh, yeah. I don't care if this table gets too dirty. Yeah, this oil doesn't look too bad. It's not that bad. So, take the top off as usual. We'll get a look at her. I believe the other one had five threads. This one's got one, two, three, four. Four threads for the black filter. Well, this filter. It's got eight holes. Not too bad. And it's got a very nice thick uh, base plate. Very thick and very thick case. Man, this thing was insane to cut through again. I'm glad about that. They have nice thick cases. Either way, I'm running a K&N right now on my Ford Freestyle. And hopefully that's doing fine. Now this, well, it doesn't feel like rubber, but it could be. But, uh... It might be nitrile or silicone. I'm not too sure. Let's get a rag here. Wipe off this part. There we go. Oh, let's pull the filtration out. There is a bit of oil in there. I have a thing here though I can put in the oil. Uh, that is the uh, 
spring that holds it all together. It's not a real spring, but hey, not all of them have real springs. Let me just tilt that like that for a minute over there and let her drain into my oil bucket. And then take a look at this filter. And it does have a release valve, which is nice. Nice metal ends. Uh, pleats, very good shape actually. Very nice looking. Don't know how long this was on a vehicle. This oil does not seem bad at all. Maybe they put it on there and it was on there for... It's got rust on it though. So maybe it was on there on a stored vehicle with new oil in it. And, you know, and then people just want to change the oil. Well, I'm going to have to cut open. Cut the filtration off. I'll take a good look. This filtration doesn't even look like it was used. It's still stiff and hard. So I don't think it was used that much. So let me cut off that uh, filtration and we'll go from there. Hopefully we'll go from there. And there we go. I got her cut. I neglected to say it has a metal strip holding it all together. And metal strips. There we are. Come on off of there, metal strip. There we go. Um, I gotta say that the filtration paper in this filter is kind of a reddish color. So... It looks that to be like that naturally. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be. But oh, it's hard to get this newer filtration out of here. Well, I'm not gonna be able to. It's just fighting me all the way, but I got some of it off. This is pretty thick and strong paper. You can tell this was not in a vehicle for filtration very long. And uh, it smells like just oil. Yeah, it smells like just oil. It doesn't smell like transmission fluid or anything. But the filtration in this, it, it does have sort of a red filter. So, but you can tell it's impregnated with some synthetics and stuff. So this one is obviously a little bit better than the white one, I would say. And the tube is your standard tube. Uh, it lets through lots of oil to get filtered. And I'd say these, these are actually pretty good filters, it looks like. So, hmm, I should probably pick a few of these, uh, the black ones up, but they're so darn expensive. But... Uh, we get lots of them in here at the uh, oil drop-off. So, they must be pretty good. A lot of people use them. I mean, we get a lot of Fram, though. Uh, <laughs> the uh, extra guards here, too. But that's probably only because they're some of the cheaper filters. But, uh, yeah, I would say this is a pretty good filter. I definitely use this uh, this type. I don't know the price of it. I don't know what it goes to. But it's got lots of filtration media for filtering out anything that your engine might have in it. And uh, it's just pretty well built, I would say. This is a really well built filter. And yeah, it's, uh, it's probably do really nice in an engine. Like this one, like I said, is, like I said, when I cut it open, the oil did not seem old or anything it seemed very clear and it doesn't it, to the paper is so so like still that it's still like almost new it's almost like new so don't know what's the story on this one i'm not really going to do a big investigation to find out the story on this one but uh uh yeah i'll just return it to where it came from the oil filter canister and uh, I'll just let her go. All right, we never did check this case. 
Yeah, still. Wow, this case is, these cases on these things are insane. That, those are so thick. I just can't believe how thick these things are. Man, nice filter. Uh, gets a definite pass from me. So, I use them on pretty well anything I own, so <laughs> I would. Even my newer car, my newer car, I'd use it. It's a well-built filter, and it probably last like wow i know a lot of people say up to ten thousand to fifteen thousand uh kilometers or miles and this one would probably last so yeah great filter gets a big pass from me and uh, thanks for watching and uh, i'll bring you more of these in the future